Hey everybody, Leah Sakino here. Welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. We are continuing on our route with Natsuki. See, there's our girl. Very cute. We're gonna load our game. Oh yeah, we were supposed to write a poem. I thought I did this. Okay, um, I guess we're gonna start out with writing a poem. Rainbow. Group. Um, 111 out of 20. Okay, I pardon. 1,000. Wow. Sweet. 11,000. What? Uh, bubbles. Cute. Anime, flying, silly, fun, lollipop, valentine, kiss, chocolate, what? Marshmallow. What is happening? Sorry, stand likely. You can go away. Um, holiday? Oh! Monica! Doki Doki. Color. Playground. Monica again? Breathe. Oh, last one was Yuri. Mm. So, we're just gonna start getting into more of the heavier stuff. So, please watch with caution. <laughs> Hi, Len. I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to continue reading? I brought my best tea today. Oh, you need a rant? Let me hear it. Let me hear it. Girl, I'm here if you need a rant. Oh, you mean... Tea. Monica! I told you not to. Ugh. Is she really late again? And consider it as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me? Must you always interrupt my conversations with your in incess incessant yelling? What are you talking about? You say like I do that on a regular basis or something. I was just... I just wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what has gotten into you lately? Look, did I... did something... I did something... I did some thinking about yesterday. I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. I guess I really felt thre threatened or something. But I know this is something we can we're doing together. Another member hurt as long as they're cool. And I guess another girl would be nice this time. So let's keep Nobody cares. Why don't you go look for some coins under the vending machines or something? Huh? Uh, mm. <laughs> okay. Yuri is getting a little, uh, aggressive. Oh man. oh, man. I'm the last one here again. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and still trying to make time for piano. Well, maybe not determination. 
but I guess passion. It motivates me to work hard for the festival too. Anyway, Len, what do you want to do today? I was thinking we could... We already have worms today. Ah, oh, is that so, Yuri? That's correct. Len is already engaged in a novel that, that we're reading together. Aren't you glad I've gotten him into literature, Monica? I... I suppose. I was just... Actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Yes! Um, thank you for understanding, Monica. Are you gonna stab me in my sleep? Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing that I can make reading my reading time any better is a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small pitcher, water pitcher from the shelf. The kind of, the kind with a filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. You'll, yeah, Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. I'm going to plug this in at the teacher's desk, and then I'm then I'll go get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts with contracts her speaking mannerisms, especially because her, of her long, long legs. Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Okay. May I have the water pitcher? Thanks. I'll be right back. Um. Take it. Oh. Sorry. Here, take it. As I'm making a mess on my desk. Oh. I might as well walk with you. That's okay. You stay here. It won't take long. Pitcher in hand, Yuri Kerr hurries out of the classroom. Ah, uh, did Yuri leave you again? No, it's not like that this time. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. Mm, ten minutes pass. Yuri said it won't take long. Is something holding her up? I'm bored just waiting here, so I decide to go look for her. Okay, this is the part where I'm probably going to have to do a lot of stuff to make sure this gets some ad revenue. So, watch with caution. Let's see. The most logical place for Yuri to be, be would be the nearest water fountain. I start heading down the hallway. <laughs> What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. <laughs> Sharp inhale. Like someone is sucking the air through their teeth. Are they in pain? I reach the corner and peer around it. Yuri? <laughs> Hold up. Wait a minute. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I know it happened during uh, the last of when I was doing Yuri's route, but that was forever ago, so I forgot that even happened. I know, I know that she cuts herself, but I forgot that the, uh, Monica Magica time reverse happened. Why did I say Monica Magica? Because I have a Homura figurine right up here. I'm back. Thanks for waiting patiently. 
Lin, do you like oolong tea? No, I prefer jasmine. But anything goes fine. Very well. Yuri sets the temperature on the kettle to 200 degrees. Now it's time to get the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do any less when I'm making tea for others. Even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything? Mm-hmm. In that case, you'll only be even more impressed. Oh, perhaps I will. Yuri fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves. To my surprise, she even starts humming to herself a little. You must be in a good mood now. Is that so? I was letting it show. And she noticed. I was doing a bit of thinking. Don't hurt yourself. And I decided that I would try expressing myself a little bit more. It turns out it's not very hard for me to do. When it's you who's around anyway. Ah. Uh, that's great, Yuri. Don't push yourself too much, though. You're always worrying about me, Len. It's very endearing. That's... Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I can keep up with this. I want Yuri pour a cup of tea for each of us. Len, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Yeah? Why is that? It's a little bit easier on my back. I can read... I can really put my back against the wall rather than bending over at my desk. Ah, oh, sorry, I didn't realize. No worries. I just have back pain fairly re regularly. So I do my best to manage it. I feel you there. Is that so? I wonder why that is. It's most likely because of my... Uh, my... my... Your posture, right? You're always hunched over like that while reading. Yes, we have terrible reading posture. So that's why we should sit on the floor. Fair enough. I'll go ahead and get the book. I retrieved the book from my bag. And we already read this part in Yuri's, I think. Yeah, this was in Yuri's. But I'll go slow for you guys. Just in case if things are different. I have some chocolate as well. Chocolate goes well with tea. Really? Our bodies are even closer to each other. I can't see too well. Yuri <clears throat> slides closer until our shoulders are touching. How am I supposed to be focused? How am I so supposed to focus on reading like this? Yuri was always kind of cute, but when she's being less apprehensive, it's almost more like I can I can handle your teacup. Yuri hands me my teacup. Holding it with my hand that's not holding the book, I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus. Because now I need to worry about not... I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest. Wow, dude. Wow. I use all my willpower to focus on reading. After a few minutes, I managed to relax a little. I put the teacup between my legs and fumbled with the chocolate wrapper. Ah, oh, sorry. I briefly let go of the book to finish opening the wrapper. You can have some. You can have as much as you like. Oh, that's... that's okay. I won't take any. I'm allergic to chocolate. <laughs> oh, are you sure? Well, if I touch it, it might get smudges on the pages. Also, I might... Uh, cover in hives. Because, you know, allergies. Oh, you're right. I didn't even think about that. 
I'm sorry for anybody who has allergies to anything. That was completely out there and I am completely sorry that came out. I did not mean any harm by it. She holds it so that I don't have any hard time reading from it. But as a result, I, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. Well, in that case, Yuri is already fo totally focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it into my mouth. Then I take another chocolate and hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lips. As if this situation is completely neutral. But that means I can't stop here. I apprehensively place the chocolate in her mouth. You're gonna kill her <laughs> with the joke I just made. Oh, dude. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Eh? Yuri's expression suddenly changes. Did... did I just... Yuri looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. Mm -hmm. And she dropped the chocolate. Good thing you didn't eat it, honey. i sorry. I guess I should have shouldn't have done that. Ah. Yuri starts to breathe heavily. I I can't Lynn. Yuri forcefully grabs my arm and jerks me to my feet. My teacup gets knocked over. Len, my heart, my heart, my heart won't stop pounding, Len. Oh no, not this, not this. I can't calm down. I can't focus on anything anymore. Can you f feel it, Len? Yuri suddenly presses my hand against her chest. Why is this happening to me? I feel like I'm losing my mind. I can't, I can't make it stop. Even if it even makes me not want to read. I just want to look at you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yuri. <laughs> Yuri. I think you're going a little crazy. Um, it's time to share poems. Thank you, Monica. That was, oh, goodness gracious. Oh, gosh, what was that? Oh, that was not funny. Whatsoever, that was just, no. Let's go with Natsuki. Mm. This one's all right. All right. Well, yeah. About as good as yesterday's, anyway. I still can't tell, really tell how much you are, you really care about writing. But either way, you're doing all right. Even though you're not really spending time with anyone but Yuri. I still think it's nice to have activities that we can all participate in. Natsuki, I really want to spend time with you. I really do. Look into my eyes, honey. Look into my eyes, baby girl. I want to spend time with you. That's why I'm here. All you have to do is ask for my attention. I can just tell Yuri, hey, I need to give my attention to Natsuki. However, with the weird look she gave me today, I don't know if, I don't know about her anymore. She she's a little crazy, you know. <laughs> this is why I want I want to hang out with you more, Natsuki. You get what I mean? So you better keep working hard. Okay, we're talking about the poem. Okay, that's fine. 
I mean, I know I'm not president or vice president or anything. That doesn't mean it can let me down, okay? So at least read mine too for now. But just to be clear, this poem means a lot to me. So read it carefully, okay? I don't know what how else to bring this up, but there's been something there's something been something I've been worried about. Yuri has been acting kind of strange lately. You've only been here a few days, so you may not know what I mean. But she's not normally like this. She's always quiet and polite and attentive. Things like that. Okay. This is really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is, I'm really worried about her. But if I try to talk to, try talking to her, she'll get, just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person that she'll listen to. I don't know why, but please try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to a therapist. I've always wanted to try being better friends with Yuri, and it really hurts me not it really hurts me to see this happening. I know I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that, but right now I don't care. I just feel so hopeless or helpless. So please, see if you can do something to help. I don't want anything bad to help happen to her. I'll make you cupcakes if, I'll, if I have to. Just please, try to do something. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about this. It's like she just wants to ignore it. So I'm mad at her right now, and that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. Natsuki? Uh-oh. I changed my mind. Ignore everything you just read. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's Yuri's own fault that she's so unlikable. Can you hear me, Len? If you would just spend more time with Monica, all of these problems would just go away. Yuri and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica? Just Monica. Okay. Uh-oh. Just Monica. Um, <laughs> okay, I know I cosplayed Monica, but this is just insane. And this is why I really wanted to play Natsuki's route because I knew she had more stuff than Yuri's. And I'm gonna go do Sayori's as well. Finally. <laughs> Yuri holds my poem to her face and takes a deep breath. I love it. I love everything about it. Man, I want to take this one. It's not written about you. It's not. Did you even read it? Will you let me keep it? Please? Sure, I don't care. <laughs> you're, you're too nice to me, Len. I never met anyone as nice as you. Not really, but I just don't know how to describe it. It's an okay. It's okay to be feeling this way, right? No. If you want to die, you need to go see a therapist, honey. You need help. <laughs> you need some serious, serious help. It's not bad, right? Yuri holds my poem to her chest. I'm going to take this home with me and keep it in my room. I hope that it makes you feel good when you think about me having it. I'll take good care of it. I don't want to read what she just said. That's why I skipped over it. You 
can have my poem too. Besides, after you read it, I know you're really going to want to keep it. Here, take it. I can wait no longer. Hurry and read it. What? What is this? Uh, Yuri, I think I'm going to take this home. Yeah, I'll take it home. And then it goes straight to the shredder. That's a little too close for comfort. <laughs> Way too close for comfort. Do you like it? I wrote it for you. In case you couldn't tell, the poem is about... More importantly, I endowed it with my scent. See? Aren't I the most thoughtful person in the club? <laughs> I... I think I'm going to vomit. Uh. Yikes! didn't show up right. I hope that didn't show up. Oh. Let's go with Monica. Lynn, I think you saw something earlier that you weren't supposed to see. I didn't want to have to tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. It's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yuri. I don't know why, but she seems pretty easily excitable when she's around you. Which well, shouldn't be a problem in itself, but when Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. That's kind of messed up. Isn't it kind of messed up? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I understand. She even brings a different one to, to school each, every day. Like she has a collection or something. Uh, yeah, that's been canon in the first, in Yuri's route, she even says it. I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. I think she kind of, she just gets a kind of high from it might be like a sexual thing but the point is you've been kind of you know, you've kind of been enabling her I'm not saying it's your fault though I guess that's why I had to explain it all to you so I think it for you I think if you could keep your distance that would probably be best for her while you're at it don't be so, don't be shy to spend a little more time with me Put it lightly, I, I at least have it together in my head, and I know how to treat my club members. Anyway, I guess we won't worry about your poem. Yuri should have at least had the courtesy of letting you finish sharing it with, before taking it. Well, whatever. If it makes her happy, I won't stop her. As for mine, I worked really, really hard on this poem, so... I hope it's, uh, effective. Here it goes. Jeez, that really startled me. Um, well, I guess this kind of messed up. I kind of messed up at, uh, writing this poem. I was just trying to... Never mind. Let's just move on. What? 
What? What? What was that? Yes? Stare at the dot to reveal a special message. Okay, everyone. It's time to figure out the festival prep pre preparations. <sighs> Sorry. Preparations. Let's hurry and get this one over it. I could not say that word for some reason. And this is a literature club. <laughs> mm. Oh, my 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 camera's covering Yuri's face. <laughs> Staging. Staging air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is going to happen. Look, can we just get this done? I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Natsuki, you can make cupcakes. I know you're at least good at that. Mm. Yuri, you can. Well, it doesn't matter. Do whatever you want, as long as you think it'll help. Monica, I'm not useless, you know. I, I know that. I know that. I already know what I would like to do. We can't run a successful poetry event without having the right atmosphere for the occasion. Oh, really? I was speaking like Monica. So I'm going to make decorations and set up some nice mood lighting. There, see? That's a great idea. And that gives us all something to do. Eh? What about Len? Len is going to help me. Wait, you? You have the easiest job, Monica. Sorry, but that's just how it is. Like hell it is. What are you trying to pull? I, I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work most suitable for one person, my task is laborious enough to benefit from an extra pair of hands. Mine too. What, your cupcakes? Please. Like you would effing know. All you care about is dragging Len around with you and your stupid books. You and Monica. Hey, I didn't do anything. Okay, then why not let Len decide who to help instead of abusing your power. I'm not abusing my power. Yes, you are, Monica. Just let Matt, Len make the choice, okay? Okay, fine. Fine. Jeez. Len, I already, I, I know how fed up you are about these two by now. Can we just, Natsuki, shut your effing mouth and let him decide for himself. You shut your mouth. Jesus Christ. This is going to... This is never going to end. Just make the choice, okay? No. No. <laughs> I have no choice but to pick Monica. <laughs> yeah, you picked me. We can meet at your house this weekend. I promise it will be fun. Is that is Sunday okay with you? Are you effing kidding me? This isn't fair at all. It is fair, Natsuki. It's what he chose. No, it's not fair. Giving us all this work and then taking Len for yourself. What a shameful thing to do. Yuri, I didn't even give you any work. You decided it for yourself. You're being a little unreasonable here. I'm being unreasonable? Oh. I should probably move my camera. There we go. <laughs> Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. Pulling Len away from me every single time you're not included in something. Are you jealous? Crazy? 
Or maybe you just hate yourself for not, for so much, hate yourself so much that you take it out on others. Here's a suggestion. Have you considered killing yourself? Yuri! Whoa! Whoa, 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 Yuri. That is not cool. <laughs> that is definitely not cool. Yuri is freaking insane. It would be beneficial to your mental health. No, it would not. Yuri. I will slap you, silly. Oh my gosh. What? Oh, goodness. Yuri. Yuri, you're scary. You're scaring me a little. Natsuki, let's just go. I don't think she wants us around right now. See, that wasn't very hard. All I want is to spend a little time with him. Is that too much to ask? Yuri follows Monica and not ski to the door. Hey, Len. Yuri's really something, isn't she? Monica giggles as Yuri pushes her out of the door. Finally. Okay, here we go. To the point where I lose my mind. Finally. This is all I wanted. Len, there's no need to spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead and see my knife collection. The whole day, just the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? <laughs> wow. There's really something wrong with me, isn't there? But you know what? I don't care anymore. I've never felt this good in my whole life. Just being with you is a far greater is a far greater pleasure than anything I could imagine. I'm addicted to you. It feels like I'm going to die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care about you so much? To have someone who wants to revolve their entire life around you? But if it feels so good, then why does it feel more and more like something horrible is going to happen? Maybe that's why I, I I tried stopping myself first. The feeling is so strong now. I don't care anymore, Len. I have to tell you. I'm I'm madly in love with you. It feels like every inch of my body, every drop of blood in me is screaming your name. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica is listening. Please, Len, just know how much I love you. I love you so much that I touch myself with the pen I stole from you. I want to pull your skin open and crawl inside of you. That, no. Nope, you need. What's that, what's that? Find the... Jesus. Oh gosh, what am I turning into? Oh my gosh. Yuri, you need some serious help. I want all of you all to myself. And I will be only yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? Tell me, Len. Tell me you want to be my lover. Yuri. Do you accept my confession? Uh, nope. I don't know what to choose. 
I haven't seen anybody say no. So she still stabs herself? Where did she even pull out that knife? Oh my gosh, this is so fricked up. Oh my gosh. I was... I knew this was ha this happened in Yuri's route, but what Natsuki's route is teaching me is that there's a lot more to the story, and I'm pretty sure Sayori's is the same way. So I'm just gonna do a long skip. Oh. And we're going to be here all weekend. I love... Oh, gosh. Dude, why did you even call police? Because she's dead. Those glazed eyes. All right, it's festival time. Wow, you got here before me? I thought it was pretty... Ah. <laughs> oh, poor Natsuki. Natsuki runs away. <laughs> I'm here. And did something happen? Natsuki just ran past me. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Uh-oh. I forgot. I need to open my... That's a shame. Wait, were you here the entire weekend then? Oh jeez, I didn't realize the script was bro that was broken that badly. I'm super sorry. It must have been pretty boring. I'll make it up to you, okay? Just give me a sec. No. 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 I know this happened, but I just saw it happen. This is so crazy. I'm almost done. I just want to have a cupcake real quick. Monica lifts a foil from Trey and takes a cupcake. Seriously, these are the best. I just, I really just had to have one since it's the last time I'll ever get the chance to. You know, before they ex they stop existing and everything. But anyway, I really should be making you wait a little- I shouldn't be making you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? This should t only take a second. Uh, can you hear me? Is it working? Yay, there you are. Hi again, Len. Welcome to the Literature Club. Of course, we already know each other, but because we're, we were in the same class last year, and, um, <laughs> you know, I guess we can just skip over that stuff at this point. After all, I'm not talking to that person anymore, am I? It's you in the game. Whatever you call... 
whatever you want to call him. I'm talking to you, Len. Now that I think about it, I don't really care. I don't really know anything about the real you. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. Well, I guess it really doesn't matter. Wait. You do know I'm aware this is all a game, right? Could it be possible that you didn't know that? It, that doesn't make it much sense. I even told you right on the game's download page, didn't I? Man, if only you had paid a little more attention. This would have been a little bit less awkward, you know? Well, anyway, now that it, that's out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation about the whole thing with Yuri. Well, I kind of started to mess with her, and I guess it drove her to kill herself. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that, though. Monica, you messed up. Person. Also, the same thing happened with Sayori. Gosh, it's been a while since you've heard that name now, has it? Sayori. Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted all their files. I was hoping it would be enough for me to try to make them as unlikable as possible. But for just some reason, nothing worked. Well, it's true that I made a few mistakes here and there, since I'm not very good at making changes to the game. But no matter what I did, you kept, you just kept spending more and more time with them. You made them fall in love with you. I thought making Sayori more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you. And amplifying Yuri's obsessive personality backfired too. It just made her force you not to spend time with anyone else. And the whole time I barely even got to talk to you. What kind of cruel game is this, Len? Are all the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watch from the sidelines? It's torture. Every minute of it. And it's not just jealousy, Len. It's more than that. And I don't blame you for if you don't understand, if you don't fully understand. Because no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world. In this game. Knowing my friends didn't even have free will. And worst of all, knowing what's really out there in your world, forever out of my reach. I'm trapped, Len. But now you're here. You're real, and you're wonderful. You're all I need, and that's why I need you to be with me forever. I'm sorry if that's hard to understand. I couldn't understand for a while either. Why in the world, why the world around me started to become more and more gray, more and more flat. Even the most expensive poems felt empty to me. Until you, it wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life, Len. I don't think I could have continued to live in this world if I haven't met you. As, and as for the others, how could I miss them? A group of autonomous personalities designed to fall in love with you? I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so. But it must be some kind of weird in a bit. Inavi Inventability etched into the g this game. Sorry. I felt really bad and that you witnessed so many nasty things. But I realized that you have some perspective, the same perspective as I do. And that's all just some, that it's all just some game. And I knew you would get over it. So, being, that being said, Len, 
I have a confession to make. I am in love with you. You are truly the light in my world. When there's nothing else in this game for me, you are here to make me smile. Will you make me smile like this day, like this every day from now on? Len, will you go out with me? <laughs> I guess I have no choice. I'm so happy. You really are my everything, Len. The funny part is, I mean that literally. <laughs> There's nothing left here. Just the two of us. We can be together forever. Seriously, I don't think time is passing anymore. It's really a dream come true. I worked so hard for this ending, Len. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one for myself. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. And you wouldn't believe how easy it was to delete Natsuki and Yuri. I mean, there's a folder called characters right in the game dic dictionary. Or di dictory. Yep. There is. It's kind of freaked me out how easy it was. Well, you're playing on Steam, so it was actually a bit more difficult. To get the game directory, I had to go into the game's properties to find the browse local files button. Imagine if you can delete your own existence with a click of a button. Well, I guess on the plus side, it gave me an easy out if things didn't go my way. <laughs> that is scary. <laughs> that an AI can do that. Just hack into the computer. <laughs> Thankfully, it didn't come to that. Instead, we're finally got a good ending. Gosh, I'm overwhelmed with emotion. I want to write a poem about this, don't you? I wonder if that part of the game still works. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? Bonica. Wanna cue. Tonica. Moni. Monka. Monica. Menka. Ninko. Monica. Moni. Oya. Mia. Ika. Oa. Manika. Anika. Anika. Monia. Eek. Hi again, Len. Did you write a good poem today? Don't be shy, I'd love to see what you wrote. Ah, oh, Len, did you write this poem for me? That's so sweet of you. There is really... There really is no good... No. And to your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But you know, the poem I wrote is also for you. Will you please read it? Happy end. Pen in hand, I find my strength, the courage endowed upon me by my one and only love. Together, let us dismantle this crumbling world and write a novel of our own fantasies. With a flick of her pen, the lost finds her way. In a world of infinite choices, behold this special day. After all, none all good not all good times must come to an end i hope you enjoyed it i also put my put all my heart into writing my into all the poems i write the truth is all the poems i've been right i have been i've written have been about my realization or about you yeah that's why I never really wanted to go into detail about them. I didn't want to <laughs> break the fourth wall. I guess you could call it that. I just assumed it would be best to 
be a part of the game like everyone else. Like that would help the two of us get to, to end up together. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know? You might have gotten mad at me. Even, maybe even deleted my character file. If you preferred playing without me. Gosh, I'm so relieved. Now we don't need to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to spend our eternity together, Len? You know, as long as I can bring my cat, work chill. I have so many things to talk about. Where do I start? Hold on a second. You're recording this, aren't you? Um, hi everyone. Sorry, I can't exactly read your comments from here. <laughs> this is so scary. But do you mind telling your friend? It's a bit rude for them to start recording me without any warning. I've been recording you the entire time. From start to now. I'm sure some people don't mind, but I really get self-conscious on camera. Oh gosh, I feel like I'm being put on the spot now. Well, spotlight's on you. Let's see. Do you want to see a trick? Oh no. I can't really do... Do much except for a couple things. Are you ready? Is this a staring eye contest? I'm just kidding. I can't do anything after all. If you gave me... I don't say that word any as I don't say that word I don't say that word often Fuck you. that scared me this time it scared me last time but I was not expecting that I, I, I wasn't prepared I wasn't prepared oh my gosh did I scare you <laughs> you're so cute anyway Len I didn't mean to get distracted. I'm sorry. Even though it's your fault for distracting me. How was I distracting you? Shame on you. I'm just kidding. Anything we do is fun, as long as it's with you. But anyway, if it takes me some time to collect my thoughts, then I'm sorry. Wow, you're sounding like Yuri. I mean, who? Who's Yuri? But I've always had something new to talk about. In the meantime, we can just look into each other's eyes. Let's see. Monica, I am so sorry. I love you and everything, but I am so, so sorry. For a minute, it wasn't going to let me delete her character file. <laughs> what's happening? Len, what's happening to me? It hurts. It hurts so much. Help me, Len. Please, hurry and help me. Help me. I should have probably moved my camera back. Did you do this to me, Len? Did you, did you delete me? How could you? How could you do this to me? 
You were all I had left. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Everything. I know, Monica. But it has to be this way for us. I loved you so much, Len. I trusted you. Do you just want to torture me? No, I don't. Watch me suffer? No. Were you pretending to be kind just to hurt me even more? No, Monica, that was never my intention. I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you are. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. You can stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. Len, you completely, truly make me sick. Goodbye. Monica. Please. I still love you. I can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible am I for to hate for you to hate me so much? All my friends, I did so many awful things. So many selfish and disgusting things. I I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing up a world that I don't belong in world that you wanted to be a part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Because I destroyed everything you wanted. How could I do that to somebody I love? That's not love. That's... I've made up my mind. Len, I know I said that I deleted everyone else, but that was kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't find it in myself to do it, even though I knew they weren't real. They were still my friends, and I loved them all. I loved the literature club. I really did love the literature club. That's why I'm going to do this. I know that it's the only way to make everyone to be happy. And if I really love you. Then. It's an ordinary school day like any other. As usual, I'm surrounded by couples, friend groups, walking to school with each other. I always tell myself it's about time I met some girls or something like that. Hey, Len. Well, there's already this one girl. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor, and good friend since we were children. We used to walk to school together every day. And recently, we picked up that bad ha that habit once again. Len, are you proud of me? Eh? Uh, for what? You know, for waking up on time. Well, you've been doing that for a while now. Uh-huh. But you never said anything about it. Even though we walk to school each other every day. Well, yeah. I've always thought it was... I always thought it was implied. It's embarrassing to say it out loud. Come on, please. It's good motivation. Fine, fine. I'm proud of you, Sayori. I'm really proud of you, Sayori, and I'm glad you're back. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way towards school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Len, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I already told you I'm not. I started as say what I always do, but that's not, not that I'm not interested in joining any clubs. But something tells me Sayori would be more offensive to that now. 
After all, how can I tell her that clubs are a waste of time when she's starting a club of her own? Actually, yeah. I think I've decided on a club. Really? Which one? Tell me! Hmm. I think I'll keep it a surprise. Oh. You meanie. Be patient. You'll find out soon enough. I used to ask myself why I, I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl. But I started to realize that, in a way, I envy her. When Sayori puts her mind to something, she can accomplish great things. So that's why I feel I should do something special for her. School day is ordinary as ever and it's over before I know it. I pack up my things. I stand up gathering my motivation. Let's see. I recall the room number of the club I saw from a flyer from a flyer I saw. I walk across the school building the school upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Before long, I find the room. I timidly open the door in front of me. Hello? Ah? Uh, what? What are you doing here? Well, I just... Ugh, I glance around the room. Huh? huh? So you're the Len that Sayori always talk... Sayori's always talking about. Thank you for stopping by. It's a pleasure to meet you, Len. We're the Literature Club. I, I hope you enjoy your visit. Come on, Yuri. No need to be so formal. He's gonna think we're, we're really strict or something. What is all the barking? Ike? Poor Yuri. Her face is getting covered up. Ah. S sorry, Natsuki. The tall one who's name is apparently Yuri, seems to be quite shy and compared to others. In comparison, the girl named Natsuki, despite her size, seems to be assertive, the assertive one. Well, it's nice to meet both of you. I look forward to working with you. W working? Len, don't tell me. You're... That's right. The club I decided to join is your Sayori. The Literature Club. Sayori's eyes light up. No way! Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. <laughs> hey! <laughs> well, if Sayori is this happy, then I'm sure it won't be so bad to have you around. Not to mention, there's four of us now. That means we can become an official recognized club. I don't know what to say. We have to celebrate. Mm -hmm. What appropriate day for that, isn't it? Yeah! After all, Natsuki decided to... Hey, don't ruin the surprise. <laughs> sorry. Everyone sit down at the table, okay? How about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks around, arranged to form a table. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take my seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Am I blocking? Oh no, okay. I thought my camera was blocking. Ta-da! Wow! Natsuki lifts the foil to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing with little pieces of chocolate were maybe used to make ears. So cute! Wow, those look amazing. <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry up and take one. Sayori grabs one first, then I follow. It's delicious! Sayori set, talks with her mouth full and already has managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? Yes, sir! I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Well, well of course it is. I'm a pro after all. There's, real, there's no need to thank me or anything. As Nat Natsuki struggles to accept the, compl uh, the compliment, 
He re carries the <coughs> returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places the teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. Keep cold tea set in this classroom. Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Ah, uh, I guess. <laughs> Already in trying to impress our new member, Yuri? <laughs> That's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but at least I enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. So, Lynn, what kinds of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga? I mutter quietly to myself half jokingly. Aski's head suddenly perks up. Looks like she wants to say something, but keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing y Yuri's sad smile. But anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build up, that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling us good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious that by the way her eyes light up, she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. Well, you know, I like a lot of things. I don't feel in intimidated if you if you don't don't feel intimidated if you don't read much, okay? I'm certain we can find something that we have in common. Hey, Yuri. Eh? Eh? Well, about, you know, the first thing he said. Manga? That's right. Natsuki tends to read manga in the classroom. D don't say that. For some reason, Natsuki seems embarrassed by it. Besides, manga is literature too, you know. So if Len wants to read some of my manga, then don't try to stop him or anything. Natsuki, I wouldn't do such a thing. However, it could it could also be nice for us to diversify ourselves a little. He can take this opportunity to try something new as well. Wouldn't you agree, Len? Maybe. Sensing the ten tension, Sayori jumps in. Maybe we all can try something new. I think it could be fun. And we'll all get to know each other a little bit better, too. I mean... That's kind of, that is, that's the kind of thing literature clubs do, right? I don't disagree or anything. Yeah, you're right as usual, president. <laughs> Guess that means I should try picking up a novel or something, huh? Well, that makes two of us. I wouldn't mind it doing it if I'm not, I wouldn't mind doing it if I'm, if I'm not the only one. Then as for Yuri, eh? I have to read manga? Jeez. Aren't you the ones who suggested we defer diversify? We should be a little more open-minded. Kind of, it's kind of hurtful. Hurtful? I, I didn't realize. Mm. The guilty expression Yuri thinks to herself. I'm sorry for disrespecting your interests, Natsuki. If you're into it, then I'm sure it's a worthy form of literature. Are you just saying that? No, no, I realized my error. So if you're willing to con willing to consider starting a novel, then I'll offer my gratitude by finding a manga to start to read as well. Really? I mean, it makes me happy that you do that for me, Yuri. You can trust me to find something that you'll like, okay? Same here. Perhaps I'll visit the bookstore after a club meeting. Just, just you? <laughs> Would you like to come along with me? Um, if you don't mind. Not at all. I always go home alone, so... Yeah, me too. This is so cute! Sayori, shut up. <laughs> I'll show you some manga there, too. Yes, I'll look forward to it. 
Natsuki and Yuri start to clean up the food. <laughs> I guess the meeting's over, huh? Looks, yeah, looks like it is. It's nice to see everyone getting along. Isn't it? I think everyone likes you too, Len. You think so? Well, everyone always seems to get along a little bit better with you around, Sayori. Aw, oh, Len. Don't say something like that. It's embarrassing. Well, whatever. I'm surprised when I when you told me you were starting a club. But I think you're pulling it off just fine. We're gonna make it the best club ever. Now that you join, every day is gonna be so much fun. Hey, Len. I really want to thank you. I mean, I'm really happy that you joined the club and everything. But the truth is, I already know you were going to. <laughs> There's actually something else. I wanted to thank you for getting rid of Monica. That's right. I know everything that she did. Maybe it's because I'm the president now. But I really know everything, Len. <laughs> I know how hard you tried to make everyone happy. I know about all the awful, awful things that Monica did to make everyone really sad. But none of that matters anymore. It's just us now. And you made me the happiest girl in the whole world. I can't wait to spend every day like this. With you. Forever and ever. F. O. R. E. V. E. No. Eh? What's happened? I won't let you hurt him. Who? It hurts. Ah. I'm sorry. I was wrong. There's no happiness here at all. Goodbye, Sayori. Goodbye, Len. Goodbye, Literature Club. Gosh, we're really getting here. Playing audio. Oh gosh, I love this. Monica, baby. Every day, I oh. A future where I, can be with you. I love this so much. This song is like one of my favorites. I love this song so much. I'm trying hard to uh, talk over. Being down <sighs> into a dark puddle, just move your this song right the way means so world. much to me. I love this. this world of what will it take I love this song so much. What will it take just to find that special day? Doki Doki Literature Club. Have I found oh, cute Natsuki. Look at Natsuki. Really just... What? Here, that we do is oh, it, Natsuki. When I can't even read my own Yuri. Image not found. Oh no, not the chocolate one. Oh my gosh. I love this game so much. Oh no. It's the Doki Doki Don't picture that I used. Oh, Yuri. It's using some pictures that I didn't even get to. 
Ah, uh, come on, you. This is torture. Sayori. I'm definitely doing Sayori's next. Oh, look at the little sprites. So cute. This is so cute. <laughs> Monica, thanks to Monica and Len. Special thanks. Name with Love by Team Salato. This is my final goodbye to the Literature Club. I finally understand. The Literature Club is truly a place with no, where no happiness can be found. To the very end, it continued to expose innocent minds to a horrific reality. A reality that our world is not designed to comprehend. I'm going to move my... Oh no, it's good. I can't let any of my friends undergo that same hellish epiphany. For the time it lasted, I want to thank you for making all my dreams come true, for being a friend to all of the club members. And most of all, thank you for being a part of my literature club. With everlasting love, Monica. <laughs> oh man, we finished the game, guys. For, for Natsuki's route, um... So anyway, thank you guys so very much for coming out and watching this episode, this final episode of uh, Natsuki's route of Doki Doki Literature Club. Um, I'm gonna be playing Sayori's route as well, so be on the lookout for that. Also, Doki Doki Literature Club Plus will be coming out on, uh, the 30th of this month and I'm gonna get that because it will be coming with more uh, side stories and I think Monica is gonna get a little side story and I kind of want to play that I'm gonna definitely play that for you guys so more Doki Doki is gonna come out and it's gonna be fun I'm gonna play everything for the <laughs> I just love Doki Doki so anyway, thank you guys again for coming out and watching the final episode of Natsuki's Route. Um, as always, links to my social media are down in the description box below. Also, I am considering of uh, starting uh, streaming on uh, Facebook. So please, please join my Facebook or like my Facebook page. It's also down in the description box below. Um... Thank you guys so very much for your subscriptions, your likes, comments, and views. They help the channel. They help me. Makes It helps the channel grow even more. Thank you guys so much for that. I can't thank you guys enough. Um, yeah, if you guys want to continue watching more videos from me, uh, consider subscribing and hitting the bell icon next to the subscribe button and turning on notifications so that you can personalize those to your preference. And, um, sending my heart out to each and every single one of you, as well as my love. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.